Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the STEM tool in iPhoto Draw. First of all, let's open an image file. At the bottom of the toolbox, you'll find the STEM tool. Here, we have a couple of STEM tools, number STEM and letter STEM. Let's try the number STEM first. I click the mouse on the image, and every time I click the mouse, it adds a new stem to the image, and the number on the stems automatically increase by one each time. And let's try the letter stem. It's really similar, but instead of showing numbers, it shows the letters on the stems. Since they are very similar, in this video, I just focus on number stem. Let's take a look at the configuration for the number stems. Here we have a star number. Star number is the number we use for the very first stem we add to the image. Usually it starts from 1, but you can change it to any number you like. Next number. Next number is the number we use for the next number stem we add to the image. As you remember, I just create three stems on the image. So the next number will be four. But I can reset it to one. Let's see. As I continue to add stems to the image, the number starts from 1 again. We can also use different shades for the stems. For example, you can use rectangle or rounded rectangle or diamond, or even use the custom tray for the stamps. I will show you the custom tray in a few minutes. Now let's just take a look at the shadow. You can apply the shadow to the stamps. Let's increase the blur level to make it look a little bit better. Now if I add stems on the image, it comes with shadow. We can also use different field types for the stems. By default, we use a solid color, but you can also use pictures. For example, I can use this PNG file as the background for the stems. Let's increase the size a little bit. And change the text position. Now the stems use the PNG image as the background. Now I show you the custom tree. Once you choose the custom tray, you find this button becomes enabled. And the tooltip tells you that you can choose a tray from the current image document as the tray for the stamps. So first of all, 
let's create a strip for example I create a call box and I'm going to use this call box for the stamps Let's give a sample number. And adjust the test position. Now the number seems at the center. It looks good now, so let's go back to the configuration. And choose the custom tree. Now if I add stamps on the image, you'll see it used the tray I just created. And at any time, you can click this reset button. Once you click this reset button, it will reset the settings to the original. So now if I create stamps, it use this blue circle as the tray for the stamps. So that's it. Thank you for watching this video. I wish you enjoy using iPhoto Draw.